In this video, I'm going to show you guys where to make the audio connections to upgrade the audio for the Tesla Model 3 S or Plus. Hopefully, you guys will find the video helpful in giving a little more confidence to tackle this project. I'm going to start off with the driver's side front. And inside the rear well, there are two things we are looking for. First is the 12 volt switch power cable, and this is the thicker red cable. The second is a black and purple twisted cable. This is the audio input in to the tweeter. Depending on your amp, the 12 volt signal may be optional. For the input signal, you are going to have to splice the connector. Sticking with the driver's side, Next, I'm going to tap the signal to send the input to the amp. This is located in the B pillar. Just be careful, these wires are really, really thin and a T-tap may not work. On the passenger side, the tweeter input is also located in the front wheel well area. This connector is really, really short. I could not pull much more out, so I chose to use a posi tab instead of cutting it. Just like the driver's side, the passenger side input is located in the B pillar as well. The input for the rear shelf is located in the side bolster of the passenger side. Newer models do not appear to have this wiring, so you will need to install speakers and run the wiring down as well. Before connecting the amp to the power source, make sure to power off the car from the settings. The 12 volt power source is located underneath a foam block on the passenger side under the rear seat. I use a 40 amp fuse because I plan to add a subwoofer later. If you are not installing a sub, a 15 amp inline fuse is usually sufficient. In my wiring scheme, I have the inputs from the B pillars going into a line out converter. This may be optional. The line-out converter goes into the amp, and then the amp output goes to the tweeters and the rear shelf. I use the Alpine Compact Amp, which mounts nicely in the side bolster of the rear seats. It's held on by automotive mounting tape. By having the amp mounted here, I was able to connect the splice wires of the rear speakers directly to the harness of the amp. And there you have it, a long weekend project. 